Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So I'm actually going to kit up uh, this little uh, set of cards, mainly because <laughs> when I got it out to do, there are 34 different gems and colours in this. Um, it's acrylic gems with a lot of specials then added in. And I thought, wow, to do a card and have all these little packets open or putting them in packets, um and having to number them up i might as well just put them into containers and then they're safe and then i can pick them up and put them down and whatever so this set, set actually came to me last year this is my february uh, 23 unboxing from fgnormal.com so do go and check them out and um, they have lots of different cards available but these obviously are what appeal to me because they're bunnies look at that one that's my favorite one i absolutely adore that one i think that's just going to go up as a little picture and um, they're just blank inside so you can just fold them in half send them as is i mean you could use that as um a little card on its own as well if you wanted to do so um but uh, yeah you can just send it as is or you can put a little verse in it put an insert in it or whatever but yeah just thought that's absolutely gorgeous so, so i'm gonna kit these up uh, that one's a couple of chicks the, the you know the picture on that side if you wanted to put that onto another card put this onto another card then they are very good i think these are only six by six where's my tape i should gone so they would go nicely onto a seven inch by seven inch card yeah there are 15 centimeters so if you get you get a seven inch card 18 centimeter card then you could put that on and put a board around and everything um and just make them into a bigger card but i think last year um i just sent them as is so that's that one look at this one that's a very lifelike bunny uh, with a little sparrow going into a nesting box there and the rabbit's saying oh they're big eggs for a little bird <laughs> that's a bunny stood up look looking very proud of all his eggs there very nice i mean you could even put these into little pictures to be honest to put up for easter uh, oh this one's got a windmill yeah we don't have many windmills here in the uk anymore um we did when i grew up there was one at the top of the street where my grandma lived and i believe it's where james arthur rank of the rank corporation the film corporation was actually born in the little cottages at the bottom of that windmill so that's a long time ago i wasn't around then i'm not that old <laughs> so that's that one and then we've got some more bunnies look at those oh so cute and lots of hot pink as well and then oh we've got some chicks so it's not all bunnies there are some chicks in there as well so yeah very very pretty i know not a lot of, not a lot of people do send it into easter cards but as a card maker um it's any excuse to send out a card really because you do tend to make a lot and i just think it's nice to say happy easter and particularly if i know children tend to get a lot of chocolate easter eggs and our kids have never really been big chocolate eaters as it were um so you know they quite often just want the money so it's quite nice if you're giving somebody money instead of an egg um to actually give them it in an easter card it just makes it a bit more of a present i suppose so yes yeah, so we've got one two three four five six seven eight so it was a set of eight cards very nice right i'm just going to write on this label that there are what did i say 34 yeah 34 colors i like to know how many colors are in things oh it says set of eight there look i didn't need to count them anyway never mind so yeah just to show i am organized and say february last year so these are having their first birthday happy birthday cards <laughs> right um i've not got a 34 case and i am wanting to use my bigger cases so this one's 32 um and i'll just keep two extra colors in little packets and we'll go that way so yeah i think that's probably the best thing to do let me get my little bin okay so i've got my little wheelie bin to put my bits in and there are no dmc codes or anything on these gems so they are just all numbered and the numbers are all on the cart as well so i've just literally put the numbers from 1 to 32 on the little boxes this is my little case 
of the little square boxes which actually these hold quite a bit more i think these hold up to two and a half thousand possibly and um, but they are bigger than the round cases so if you're wanting ones that take a few more gems then these are really good uh, the only thing i'm not keen on is the fact that if you're wanting to dip in to just get one gem out you have to take the whole lid out um rather than just uh dipping in through the top as you would on a round one i suppose if you're just using the pink pens you can just dip, dip in but i tend to use a thicker pen so i have to take the whole lid off to do it so, yeah it's just my laziness kicking in really <laughs> uh, some of last year's cards that i did um so that's one that's uh, oh yeah these are card ah right these are card fronts so these are actually ones that um, I've used the other side um, and put it onto a bigger card. So these are ones that I've done in the past. So that's a happy, yeah, that was that one and I'd cut it off ready. So I've got those two that I will then put on probably a five by seven card or even an A5 size card um, and do the backing on. And then I said, I'll like put uh, inserts inside my cards. These are the ones that I did just as is last year with, uh, again, the pictures on the back. These are a bit more cartoony um, and a bit more zany colours. And Oh, I've not put the inserts in these yet. I was going to show you my inserts if I had, but it doesn't look like I have. Let me just double check. No, I haven't. So that's an Easter basket one and another easter basket and then a very pretty easter basket so they're from last year and then these are from the year before uh, where i have actually if anybody sends me cards and things i do tend to take the little happy easter signs off them no i've not got the inserts in those either um just to use them so yeah so as you can see i have got quite a few easter cards so yeah. any excuse to send out cards as i say when you're a card maker <laughs> right but anyway we've got a whole new set to make this year because these have got bunnies on and i love my bunnies right so where shall we start let's start at number one liz that would be the best way to start and i want a tray okay so tray 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 and we'll take the lid fully off and put these in there's quite a lot of gems in some of these as well so yeah okay yeah kittens up getting all these easter projects done so i've got all the windows open today and it's a little bit chilly now so oh look and the first one i man managed to throw them all over okay so that's number one done I hope everybody is okay and that life is treating you kindly and um, if you do do easter cards and easter projects that you are getting them done and enjoying doing them because that's what it's all about uh, yeah that's one thing i'm not going to do this year is put pressure on myself to finish anything um, if it gets done it gets done and i'm just going to sit and enjoy the process and i am really enjoying my diamond painting at the moment just sit uh, with hubby mainly on a night time and uh, we watch telly and uh, yeah we're having to try and find films now that don't have any subtitles on because it is quite difficult to diamond paint and read subtitles at the same time <laughs> and uh, with the best will in the world i don't speak korean and i think we've watched a few danish ones and um quite a few other different uh, films as well so yeah <laughs> okay let's get these popped in these little containers yeah so normally with cards and things um i wouldn't just spill those as well it's not concentrating properly am i that and i'm exceptionally clumsy there's one escaped somewhere else there so yeah okay right they're all in there okay so number five come in number five lovely yellow color very nice oh look number seven's trying to get in there sorry number six is trying to get in all right so just click as near to that line as possible so that uh, they don't escape out okay millie moo is asleep next to me she's had a really long walk today so 
tired but she also wants to know what I'm doing so she's not sat on her chair <laughs> had quite a bit of fun actually sitting on her chair watching what I was doing joining in with the uh, pittings up and unboxing she likes unboxings best she loves it when a parcel arrives at the house she always has to go and put her nose in the bag to see what's going on yeah hubby got a parcel um, I think it was yesterday actually and uh, Millie went across and was sat looking at him and just, why is she looking at me she wants to see what you've got because he's not like me he doesn't open past straight away yeah it's uh, it's quite difficult actually when I'm doing oh these are a bit staticky that's why they're uh, jumping out of the pots that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it yeah they're sticking to the packets a little bit so they're not going into the bottom of the packet to be poured they're being naughty <laughs> yeah um yeah I don't, it's very difficult you know when you're doing unbaggings and unboxings and things for companies and that uh, you don't always have time to like do the unboxing or the unbagging video the same day that they arrive and it sits in the corner looking at you and you're thinking, I really want to know what's in there. Let me get it open. But now I have to wait. <laughs> but Hubby's like that anyway, so... Yeah, he's... Um... Oh, come on out. Uh, yeah, he was just sat there with the parcel next to him. And he said, well, I don't really want to open it now. And I said, well, she'll just sit and look at you until you do. Uh, it was nothing for her. But, uh, yeah, she... <laughs> she wanted to know what he'd got. So there you are. Okay, that's that one. So number 10 cracking through these it's sad that they've not got the dmc codes on but anyway they'll just go to my donation pile i'll have to start a new one now because all of my uh, donations have now gone i have that if you can hear a strange noise in the background maybe you can't it's quite quiet but millie is snoring so don't forget. I'm so boring, the dog's gone to sleep and he's snoring. <laughs> oh dear me. All good fun in this household. So, yeah, we're looking forward to Crufts this year. Um, we will be cheering on the Scotty Dogs. It's a long time since the Scotty Dog won. So yeah, we have been a few times and I have... Uh, been and sat and watched best in show as well we did go um one sunday well it's, it is always a sunday evening um Crufts is always on the thursday or friday and saturday of uh, it's usually the second weekend in march so yeah it is this weekend and it is hubby's birthday as well and when we actually went to see best in show um it was hubby's birthday that day as well so we spent hubby's birthday at Crufts that year great fun so many cuddles so many dogs albeit you don't get that many cuddles uh, with the show dogs because once they've brushed them and combed them and everything they don't want anybody touching them they've got every hair in place and they don't want somebody to come up and go wee on the top <laughs> although i must admit i have wanted to do that several times but no i've been very restrained but they do have a section there that's called Discover Dogs. So they try and have one of every dog breed, which there is over, is there over 200 dog breeds? I think so. Um, well, that are registered with the Kennel Club anyway, um, the UK Kennel Club. And uh, yeah, they usually have one of each and you can go around and have a look. And they have them all categorised into like the um, working and the pastoral and the gun dogs and the hounds and the toys and the terriers. Oh, and then the utility, which are the ones that they don't really know which ones to put in. Millie is a terrier. She's in the terrier group. And uh, Lottie, her little friend, the little shit, so she's in the utility group. So, yeah, they're in separate groups. We're in separate corners. And they change each year as to which dogs are judged on which day. Um, I've not looked, actually. I'm not sure what's um, going to be judged on Sunday. Because, obviously, they get a really good following and a really good cheer. Um, if it's a gun dog day um, on Sunday, so when the gun dog that wins the best of the gun dogs is uh, in the best in show, waiting to be judged for best in show, then uh, they usually get a really big cheer. Uh, yeah, but 
I do uh, love going to Crufts. It's a long time since I've been now. I think the last time we probably went actually was um, when we went and it was Hubby's birthday. But I did have friends that used to breed dogs. Um, my first dog that I got, um, well, my second dog that I got actually, the lady who bred him, he was an American Cocker Spaniel. I say we called him Sweep. I think I've mentioned him before. And I had him when I had my little West Highland White Terrier. And the lady who bred him, we went to Crufts with her. She was showing. So we had to be there at six o'clock in the morning. So we like, had to set off at four o'clock in the morning to get there. And uh, that was really good fun. Honestly, if you've ever seen anything so funny in your life, because obviously the dogs, you know, they're expensive dogs. They're well looked after dogs because they're proper show dogs and uh, they were all sat on the coach seats so you could see sort of lorry drivers and things going past and obviously you know and other coaches and you look in the coach and there's all these dogs sat in the window <laughs> looking out the windows <laughs> and we had a few poodles and things and uh, with the poodles they put like little um curls uh not care well i suppose like curlers but put little ties and things in the hair so that it keeps them all you know straight and uh, keeps them all tidy until they get to the show and then they can puff them all out again and do them all and uh, yeah so you could see these lorry drivers going past just looking expecting to see um a bunch of adults or a bunch of school kids or something and there's all these dogs lined up because of course all the dogs wanted to look out the windows they didn't want to sit on the aisle seats so they were all sat on the window seats looking out and it was just so funny it just cracked me up every time but, uh, yeah some of them were in crates but on the whole they're just like sitting on the seat and looking out the window so yeah very spoiled dogs <laughs> That was before seat belts were required in coaches as well. I don't suppose you'd be able to do it now. But yeah, and then you'd stop at the motorway service station, and all the cars that you'd, well, nearly all the cars that you'd come across, you know, would have stickers on the back for the kennels that the dogs belonged to, and there'd be dogs going on walks. And it was just such a wonderful atmosphere and so happy. You know, it's really, really good. I love seeing dogs. And they're, I'm, I was going to show um, our dogs that because they were pedigrees, the first two dogs, say so the American Cocker Spaniel that I got sweep. Um, the lady who bred him, she was quite disappointed that I didn't show him. But uh, we went to a dog show once and um, there was all these dogs and they all stand like little soldiers ready to be judged. And then there was this one dog and it was his first show. And uh, it took one look at the judge and just rolled up, his tummy rubbed. Well, I just couldn't stop laughing. I mean, everybody else was like, oh, that's disgusting, fancy doing that. You know, and I just thought, oh, that dog's been a dog. And I decided I didn't want my dogs to be stood like little statues. Um, I wanted my dogs to just run and play and be funny. So that's what we did. It's personal choice. I'm not getting anybody that breeds dogs. You know, it's, it's a, a very difficult thing to do and to, you know, get... Um, dogs as near to the breed standard as possible and it's a lot of hard work um, and they don't really make money from it as such you know the prize money and everything didn't used to be wonderful you know it's not like footballers get or snooker players get or anything like that um, and obviously you know you, you've got to go through an awful lot of dogs before you get one that's you know as it's supposed to be as it were so yeah I've, I've no problem with it and you either train a dog to be um like trained for whatever agility or for sit and stay and all things like that you just your normal pet dogs or you train them for shows there is a specific way that you would train a dog for a show and i just decided i didn't want to go down that road um so we didn't but i remember <laughs> one dog show we went to it was really funny there was this great big doberman oh and she was absolutely beautiful um she was a tan and uh, brown one she wasn't the standard black one she was a tan colored one which is like a chestnutty color more um they're, they're like well i suppose they're more brown brown and black than i'll see if i can find a picture of one um there are two different color ways of dobermans and uh, yeah it took one look at the judge and just we were sat on the front row near where the judging was taking place and she just literally took one look at the judge and leapt ended up in on my knee and underneath my coat 
so her body was like on my knee and her head was underneath my arm in my coat and I just couldn't stop laughing I mean I, she wasn't because you know some people well she wasn't being vicious or anything she was just decided I'm not going near that vet uh, I'm not going near that judge and I'm going to hide and he can't see me and she just hid it and I, honestly it was just so funny and the owner's like oh I'm so sorry I'm so sorry and I'm like oh it's just no don't mind me I don't mind having a cuddle <laughs> I suppose it could have been anybody. It just happened to be me that was sat there at the time and I ended up with this great big Doberman. Um, I was like, oh, okay. Suddenly wearing a Doberman. <laughs> Tell you crazy things have always happened all my life. It just, I seem to attract them. Right, I've got rid of that one because I'm not opening the box again to put it back in. <laughs> so yeah, we shall be watching Crufts and we will be Team Terrier. Makes me want to um, get out my uh, diamond painting dog pictures, actually, and do a few dogs. I know I've got a lot of Easter to do, but while Crufts is on, I feel as though I should be doing dogs. I know when I was making my 3D decoupage sheets to sell on Craft Shoe Prints, which are still available, um, link down below. Uh, yeah, uh, When I was making those, I always used to do the ones specifically for the breed of the dog that was there. And then I used to put on special offer whichever dog won their best in breed. So like the best hound and the best working dog, the best pastoral dog and all those. Um, I used to put those on special offer. So yeah, I used to uh, have quite a bit of fun when it was cruff. So I always used to put my special offers on then. And it's quite funny because my memories on Facebook are all coming up now as the special offers for cruffs. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, we've had an awful lot of fun. So if I had my way, I would have a house full of dogs. In hindsight, um, I wish I'd sort of followed more of a career um, animal orientated. These are just so blinking static at the minute. Get in there. Oh, it's wanting to follow me around. Oh, Millie's got out of the basket. Uh, yes, she's heard me talking about dogs, I think. Yeah, look, they're sticking in the packets. They're they're very uh, staticky. These they're not wanting to come out. Uh, they may be yeah, resin drills actually. If they're getting a bit staticky, I know some oh, <laughs> some people say that uh, it's the acrylic drills that get static, but I've always found it's resin drills that seem to be the most static. I suppose any of them can really. Uh, just depends on where they come from and uh, what they're like. Right, so we're on to the specials now. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven specials. Okay, so 27 to 28 is some little gold rounds. Okay, they do look pretty in these, don't they, with all the different colours. I don't like seeing them. It's another reason why I like the bottles and things that are see-through, because you can actually yeah, see what the colours are. They do look very, very pretty all together. Oh, these don't seem quite so static -y, so yeah, these are on sort of a separate strip, as it were. Okay, so we'll just have two that won't be in the bottles, but that's okay. I can cope with two. It's just, I think I would have, uh, yeah, just about driven myself mad trying to keep all these in order with them being there. So many. If a special drill project is a lot of different gems as well, I do tend to kit them up. It takes a little bit longer to kit up and get prepared, but in the long run, it makes life a lot easier. So that's what I find anyway. Okay. And number 30. Some marquees in silver with an iridescent coating on. Very popular though, seems to be in a lot of drill kit, uh, special drill kits. So these are a mixture of special drills and your acrylic drills as well. Just some little silver teardrops. Okay. Put those into there. Gosh, these are very big containers for just these few gems. Not too bad. Oh, look, that is just determined to get me to get some anti-static uh... oh and that one the lid's come off okay. right and then finally in the little pots anyway i've just got so 
on that little pink teardrops there. Okay. And then the last two colours. What gems are? Oh gosh. Teeny tiny teardrops in the aqua blue. And then some gold teardrops. Oh, with a big piece of uh, extra bit in there. So, yeah, what I'll probably do, actually, is do those two first on all of the cards and then they're out of the way and then just do the others. Um, I usually start at number one and work my way through. So I would just pick up number one and I would look and see if there's any number ones on there and do all those. And then I'll pick up the next card and do it on those. Uh, I mean, obviously, obviously, it depends on how you want to do it. You could, now that it's kitted up, just literally do that one card if you wanted to and leave the rest for another day. But I tend to like to do all of it on one. Um, and then obviously, if you've missed one, it's easier to then just go back and say, oh, I missed a number one on this one. I can just pick up the little pot and do it rather than having to try and look through bags or open packets or anything. Um, so it just makes life a little bit easier when there is a lot of colours. Okay, well, I'm going to leave my favourite on the top because I think he's really, really pretty. I might have to do him first. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this little chat. Thank you for joining me. If you have enjoyed it, a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Any comments in the comments down below. Get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you, FG Normal, for sending me these. I've finally got round to doing them. <laughs> Okay, and if you want to join our little family, see what we get up to next and see these completed, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.